Hello and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can add a speed boost or a run mode to our axis move and a jump to our pseudo body. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. So what we're going to do is set up on our two controllers and our right controller will have if we press our thumbstick down we'll just increase the speed of our axis move left right forward and backwards. And if we press our thumbstick down on our left controller, we just initiate a jump on our pseudo body. So let's start off by doing the speed boost. And we're going to set that up by going to our generic mappings and then to our right controller input, then down to our thumbstick and then on the thumbstick press. And all we want to do here is on the activated event, we're going to add two listeners. And for each of these, we're going to bring in our vertical slide and horizontal slide into both of them. And then for the function, we're going to go to axis move facade and we're going to go down to the horizontal axis multiplier and we'll do the same on axis move facade again. But this time we're going to go down to the vertical axis multiplier. And what we're going to do is just increase this axis multiplier when we press our thumbstick down. So by default it's 0.5. So we're going to set this to 2. And then when we release our thumbstick, we want to go back to 0.5. So we're going to replicate this again down here in the deactivated and we're going to grab drag and drop our horizontal slide vertical slide and then again on the axis move we go to the horizontal axis multiplier and the vertical axis multiplier and we're just going to reset those back to 0.5 and there we go we've now set up our multiplier so when we press our right thumbstick down our speed will increase and then we release it will go back to its normal speed so let's set up the jump on the pseudo body now on the left controller so if we go to our left controller input actions and then down to left thumbstick and then on the left thumbstick press all we want to do now is on our activated so when we press our thumbstick on the left controller we want to grab drag and drop our pseudo body into there and then for the function we select pseudo body facade we go down to jump float and then we provide the force that we want to jump with i'm just going to put 200 as this force and there we go we've now set up a jump on our left thumbstick so when we press our left thumbstick down it will cause our pseudo body to jump up in the air and when we press our right thumbstick down, it will cause us to have a speed boost when we're sliding around with our right thumbstick. So let's jump into the scene and we can see this working. So now I'm back in the scene and we can see if I push around with my right thumbstick, I move at a normal speed. However, if I push the thumbstick down and move around, we can see we're now moving at a faster speed and releasing slows me back down as well. So we've added like a sprint mode or a run mode to our scene. And then if I press the left thumbstick down, we do a jump, which is just adding force to our pseudo body. And if I turn around to look at the wall, we could then run at the wall and jump over it. And there we go. We've added running and jump into our scene using the pseudo body's jump method and just increasing the multiplier on our axis move. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.